Well guys, this comes as no surprise. Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to the Philly Sass to Videocast and today we're going to be discussing Matt Klintak stepping down as the general manager of the Philadelphia Phillies. It was announced yesterday and he has officially stepped down as the general manager and he'll be reassigned to a new role in the Phillies organization, so he will be staying in the organization. Uh, unsure about what his role will be, but he will be staying in the Phillies organization. Now, guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Now, guys, my first initial reaction to this was no surprise. The way it happened was a little bit strange. I expected Clint Hack to most likely be fired. He, in, he ends up stepping down. Now, we do not know if he may was asked to step down in the press release by the Phillies. Middleton basically said that uh, they came to a mutual agreement that it was time to part ways, which basically tells me that he may have been asked to step down as the general manager of the Phillies. Uh, once again, guys, no surprise, uh, Matt Klintak is gone um, from the GM position. Uh, not gone from the organization, though. He's still in the organization. He's going to be staying in the organization, as I said earlier. So um, before we get into this video, I'd like to thank Matt Klintak for five seasons as our general manager. Uh, sincerely, absolutely. I mean, Matt Klintak is a good guy. And, and for anybody out there who's celebrating him stepping down, who is laughing at him and hating on him, that's just not, not, that's just not nice, man. I mean, like, he's a good guy, and he tried. You know, he went out and signed Bryce Harper. He traded for JT. I know that that trade is kind of controversial now, especially if we lose JT, what we gave up for him. I understand that. But he, he wasn't, he was not the worst GM ever. I guarantee you that. He was not, he made, he did make some good moves. I mean, was it time to move on from Matt Klintak? Yes. But Matt Klintak has class, right? I mean, I think he made the right decision. Uh, it was the right move to step down here, and uh, he wants he wants this organization to succeed in the future, and he did what's best for this organization. So I really appreciate Matt Klintak and, and understand Matt Klintak's decision to step down as the general manager. And I have no hard feelings against him. I like Matt Klintak. I think he's a good person, and I wish him nothing but the best in the future. Um, I'm glad he's staying in the organization, and it does make me happy. Um, so uh, no hard feelings at all against Matt Klintak. I like Matt Klintak. Uh, I think he's a good guy. I do think it's moved time to move on from him as a GM. I, I would agree with that. But you, you shouldn't be hating on him. You shouldn't be celebrating the fact that he stepped down. Or, you know, I do think it's time to move on, though. But you shouldn't be rubbing in his face and doing that's just That's not that's not good. Don't do that. Um, but it is time to get a new guy in there. And uh, John Milton was also asked yesterday about the JT Ramuto signing. He said he's going to be headed to free agency. And that's not a good sign. And he was asked about the fans. He said, I have to hear... He said, you know if you heard from the mayor or the governor, because if you have, you, you've heard something that I haven't. Uh, he said, all comes down to revenue. Um, and uh, Middleton, I, I lost a lot of faith in uh, John Middleton. I, I almost wonder, everyone wanted to blame Klintak for the JT. Oh, sign JT, sign JT, Klintak. You know, what are you doing? Fire Klintak. You know, he's not signing JT. Well, how much do you, I mean, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. I mean, it seems to me that maybe Middleton is the problem here. I mean, you see, you hear him go on the, the TV yesterday, get an interview, and he says, well, you know, we have revenue problems, and, and everyone wants to blame Klintak for not re-signing JT. Well, how about we look at the facts here? And I'm not saying that Middleton is the one responsible, but let's not all of a sudden just blame Klintak for this, right? I mean, it could be Middleton here. And the way that he said it, you know, we're having revenue problems. It's not all Klintak's fault, guys. So anybody wants to blame Klintak for this, all of this mess is not is not realistic at all. Um, but uh, once again, um, I think that he made the right decision. It's time to get a new guy in there. And uh, Ned Rice has been named uh, the interim GM right now. He's going to be the GM until we do find someone to uh, fill that position. So Ned Rice, who was the assistant GM, will now be stepping in as a general manager. Hopefully, he can get a guy in there before free agency starts. I do think that JT Amuto and Didi Gregorius do need to be re-signed, and we need to do whatever it takes to re-sign both of those guys. Um, and I hope the new GM is going to be aggressive enough to do that. Um, and uh, I was shocked. I mean, when I saw the news he stepped down, as I said, I think he might have been asked to step down uh, before he got fired or something. As I said, they said it was time to move on. We had a mutual agreement to step down. Um, that's what the you know that's what John Middleton said in the press release, the Phillies press release. Um, so I, as I said, Klintak wants to do what's best for his organization. Uh, I appreciate that, you know, what he did in five years here. He did try. I mean, he's not the worst GM. I mean, he did make some right. He did do, he did make some good moves here. He tried, you know, he tried and I appreciate that. He tried and I think he's a good guy. And as I said, he wants what's best for his organization. I'm glad he's going to be staying in his organization and it makes sense for him to be staying in the organization. 
since we still under contract and we still have to pay him, right? So guys, we've heard a lot of the uh, potential candidates popping up over the past 12 hours, one of them being Bob Saban, uh, the former general manager of the San Francisco Giants, won three World Series rings there. I mean, how could this guy not be considered? He's an old school guy. Uh, that would be great if we can get him, man. He'd be great here. Uh, I mean, what a heck of a resume that is. Dave Gombrowski, uh, the former uh, general manager of the Boston Red Sox, also with the Miami Marlins and the uh, Detroit Tigers as well. Um, and he knows Andy McPhail well. And as is now, Andy McPhail is still saying he still has his job as the president. Uh, how? I don't know. But uh, Dave Gombrowski, another one. Dan Duquette, uh, another guy who's being considered as well. So uh, I don't want to go through every name, but uh, these are the names that just kind of come to mind for me. Um, we'll help me make a video about that. You know, last year I made a video about the you know manager you know, update, and you know we we're searching for a new manager, and we fired Gabe Kapler. Uh, that was such a mess, and this ended better than the Gabe Kapler. Remember, this didn't really drag out, and I like the way that this happened. And last year when Gabe Kapler got fired, I was happy, right? I mean, arguably, Gabe Kapler should have been fired. He was such a terrible manager, and I really don't think he did all that. I think he hurt the Phillies, right? I mean. I don't really think he did a good job at all, and I was so glad to get him out of here. With the Matt Klintak stepping down as the general manager, uh, I like the way it happened, right? I mean, he stepped down. It was a mutual thing, and I like the way that he's going to be staying in our organization, and um, I think it's great. Um, so, uh, once again, I do think it's time to move on. I don't want you guys to think that Matt Klintak shouldn't have been you know, fired or stepped down. I do think it was time to move on and get a new guy in there. I do agree with that. I, I mean, as I said, I didn't really like the way that our direction was headed, uh, especially with the bullpen. The fact that he goes into this year uh, confident in the bullpen that we have, and look how bad it was. But yeah, he was confident that our bullpen was going to be good enough to win his games. I mean, that's a decision enough to get you fired. I mean, that, that's how bad it was. I mean, I'm sorry. I know he didn't get fired, but as I said, he resigned before he got fired, uh, stepped down, um, and before he got fired. So, uh, again, we don't know that for sure, but, I mean, this, when, you, when you have your owner coming out and saying, well, a mutual agreement to you know, part ways as the general manager, that's – you know, a mutual agreement, right? I mean, that's, that's, I mean, he was probably asked to step down before he got fired. I mean, that's probably what happened. Um, and uh, that's, I, I, as I said, I'm glad he's staying in the organization. It's time to get a new guy in there who, you know, knows a lot about the game, who could build a good bullpen. I feel like Klintak tried at the deadline. He went out and traded for David Phelps before the deadline. He went out and traded for Brandon Workman, Heath Embry, uh, David Hale, the Yankees. I mean, like, I feel like he tried. The guys he got just were not good enough. And this, in the, the teams they were on before coming here, they were good. And then they came here and they were absolute garbage. So I don't understand why uh, that happened. It tells me it may have been a coaching issue or something, but the bullpen still was not good enough. And it was it was that bad that it, did, it warranted the general manager and probably the president to be fired because that's how bad it was. And for them to say winning season and have this bullpen, it's just how in the world do you expect to have a winning season with this bullpen? I mean, it's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic, and it is time to get a new guy in there who understands the game a little bit more and has a little bit more experience. Klintak, he was a young guy when he came here. He was like 34, 35, you know, and um, I, I don't think he had enough. I mean, he was the assistant general manager of the Los Angeles Angels before coming over here for, I believe, about five, six years, uh, and then he was part of the Baltimore Orioles organization. That's why he got hired. I mean, let's just be honest with, our, let's just be honest with ourselves. Andy McPhail is with the uh, Baltimore Orioles. He knew Matt Klintak, and that's why he hired him, because he knew him. I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves here. This stuff goes on all the time. You, get, you have a guy you know, we'll hire, we'll hire you because I know you. I mean, that's, that stuff goes on all the time. Uh, let's just be honest with ourselves here. And I'm not saying that Klintak wasn't qualified. He's just he's a younger dude. Uh, he's only 40 years old right now, so he's only like 34, 35 when he got hired. So, uh, again, I mean, he got hired five years ago. Um, in October 2015 to replace Ruben Amaro Jr. Ruben Amaro Jr., one of the names on the list of potential candidates for the Phillies next GM. I can't believe they could fire him. And now it said in the article, it said that he's starting to understand uh, analytics more since he was fired uh, because he did not do a very good job uh, signing and drafting right players. I know he did draft Reese Hoskins, or uh, Aaron Nola, a few other people. And let's not forget that Matt Klintak drafted Alec Boehm. Matt Klintak uh, drafted Adam Hazley. Matt Klintak drafted Spencer Howard. So anybody wants to knock Matt Klintak all the time and be a Matt Klintak hater, and yet again, I don't agree with every decision that Klintak made. But, I mean, he did do some good. I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves, okay? Uh, again, I'm not trying to say... I, I do think, as I said before, it's time to move on. Um, but uh, Ruben Moore Jr., one of the names on the list of being a potential candidate for the Phillies' next general manager. So guys, 
that is pretty much it. Our owner, John Middleton, I'm disappointed in John Middleton. Um, I mean, the fact you're just going to let JTA go to free agency, you wrote about our budget. I mean, seriously, two years ago, you, you made a public statement that we're going to be a little bit stupid about it. The way we're going to spend our money, we're going to spend stupid money. And you spend it on Bryce Harper, which was a good asset for our team. But you're going to be talking stupid money. Well, how about you go spend your stupid money on JT Ramuto? I mean, you're going to talk a big game and go out and do it. Don't be talk. Be action. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn on the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Uh, check out the social media link in the description section. At Phyllis House to Instagram, our for next Instagram. Guys, call or text 267-225-3392. Email me, phillyshotstove at gmail.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Matt Clentac has stepped down as the general manager at the Philadelphia Phillies. Ned Rice named the interim GM as the Phillies began a GM search. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Luke, and I will talk to you later. I'll see you guys.